Time and time again, my insecurity has been the death of me. Physically, I remain intact, but along the way, I have tallied a numerous amount of mental, emotional, and spiritual deaths. The long line of corpses that lie behind me as I trek through this journey of life are innumerable. Each body lies there slain by the deceivingly Goliath animal of insecurity. Whether it be career opportunities, friendships, relationships, new experiences of any kind, they have all fallen victim to the succubus of insecurity. Not only have developing aspects of my life perished due to insecurity, but there have been many instances where the seeds of opportunity haven't even been given the chance to germinate. Those seeds of potential lie there in a prolonged state of dormancy and eventually succumb to death by atrophy. It was death by inaction. Out of all the corpses that rot behind me, the death of these embryos are hardest to face. They rest there lifeless. The momentum ripped out of them. Premature death of a life that was supposed to be lived. The devastation that insecurity inflicts has always successfully deceived me from seeing it transparently. Insecurity presents itself as a vicious monster, but with clear vision, you could see its true nature. Approaching it with curiosity, you could see what truly lies behind those predatory eyes is fear and those carnivorous fangs that have devoured you a countless amount of times, evolved not to ravage, but to defend. Insecurity is nothing more than a weak and wounded child that has acquired this ability to shapeshift into the seemingly ferocious beast. Ferocious in appearance, protective by nature, insecurity's intentions are parental. It seeks to guard and shelter, but like the devouring mother, stunts growth and promotes dependency. How many opportunities that would have enriched your being have been swept away by this raging river? How many more people do you have to dig your claws into and cling to to find some sense of self and a fleeting sense of security that this wounded child so deeply craves? When will this destructive cycle finally be put to bed? Next time this child throws a fit and the monster rears its ugly head, will you allow it to run rampant leaving a trail of chaos? Or is this your David moment where the beast is put to the sword in the process of individuation? finally begins. It's your choice. Turn around and take in what you see. You could be another one of those lifeless bodies strewn amongst the trail, or you could take the next step in your hero's journey. You decide. Peace.